Internet, Eric here. Um, it's late, but back with another, uh, uh, I guess you would say, entry into Shocktober, uh, 13 days of Halloween. Um, 13 videos in 13 days. Uh, <laughs> it's a pain in the ass, but you know what? Challenging myself to do it. Um, today's subject is going to be on actually a favorite of mine, spoilers. Um, today, for Shocktober, I'm going to talk about, can see with the glare, Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. If you're to my channel, welcome. I discuss plot spoilers, specific scenes, what have you. Came out in 1995. Basic plot of the basic plot of this movie is first we we're following the Crypt Keeper. He's in Hollywood. He's making a movie. Shit happens, and then he, of course, tells his story, just like in the um, the, the HBO uh, TV series, which I fucking love. And this is the story of Breaker, played by William Sadler. If you know him, he's in the Green Mile. Um, he he's Haywood in Shawshank Redemption. Or he's the Grim Reaper in the Bill and Ted movies. And he is on the run from The Collector, played by Billy Zane. And the reason why The Collector is after Breaker is because Breaker has a key that basically if... How would I say it? The easiest way to say it is if The Collector gets the key, um, demons will rule the world. But um, Breaker holds up in this uh, really shitty motel. And um, him and the... I guess you would say the people that work there, always visit there have to survive the night to defeat the demons. Um, as I already said, I fucking love this movie. So much fun. And again, if you like Tales from the Crypt, you just have a little bit of the, the cheesiness with the, the Crypt Keeper. The best part of this movie are the characters, or is the characters, however you want to word that. William Sadler as Breaker. He is de he is so good at being like this this man who has been, you can tell he's been doing this, you find out how old he really is. I won't spoil that. For generations, he's tired, but he knows how to defeat these demons, and he will do it at any cost. Doesn't matter who he uh, sadly has to take out in the in the long run. I guess you would say, Billy Zane. It's, it's it's Billy fucking Zane. This is like his most entertaining role I've ever seen. He's chewing it up. He's hamming it up. Um, creepy in parts, sexy and seductive in parts. There's a scene where he seduces. A member of the, well, no, not actually a hotel member. She's a hooker, but she always hangs out at the hotels because that's where you know she lives. Um, and I like he's very good at that at, at being seductive. He's funny. He's creepy. He's scary. He's dangerous. He's goofy as shit. He he is basically everything you can think of in this movie, and he's so much fun. And uh, the rest of the cast is great. Jada Pinkett's in this as Geraldine. The uh, she's there working. For like community service. She's there being the tough chick. Um, you have Dick Miller as the drunk. Drunken Uncle Willie. Thomas Hayden Church as Roach. He is one of the hookers. I guess you would say. Uh, customers. Uh, he's really funny. And a great asshole character. Um, Brenda Brakey as Cordelia the hooker. She is great. She is funny. She is sad in some moments. Uh, who else is there? Oh shit. CCH Pounder. I love this woman in anything I see her in. You know, I especially like The Shield. She's fantastic in this. She's she uh, Irene who runs the, the hotel. And uh, she, she's funny. She's badass. She, uh, so good. So every single character in this movie is fantastic. Um, we'll get to the demons. I don't think... No, there's no pictures of the demons on this, but... They're so cool, and um, long, you know, you know, long bodies, very tall, very skinny. Each demon is different looking. You know, they all have like fangs or claws. Some have long hair. Some are bald. Some have ponytails. Some have pierced nipples. Um, it's it's just it's just so creative, and you get this feel that even though it's a horror movie, you also have that feel of it like being kind of like a a fifties horror movie, which just with all these demons coming out of nowhere. And that's what I love because it's still, you still have that EC Comics feel to it to me. Um, and the and what is really cool about these demons is the only way you can kill them is to shoot their eyes. Um, and what is cool about that is when you shoot their eyes, these green lightning bolts come out of them and destroys whatever is nearby. So, you know, it'll, it'll either destroy like, you know, anything standing by, whether it's, you know, pots and pans or whatever, or it will hurt one of the the people and uh charles fleischer who i didn't mention 
He is one of the people that falls victim to the lightning bolt attack. Charles Fleischer, who framed Roger Rabbit. And he's the doctor, uh, the dream doctor in Nightmare on Elm Street 1. So there you go. Um, so the creativity is great. The gore is top notch in this movie. I love it. From arms being bashed against the side of a door and torn off. Like, you know, popped the wrong way and ripped off. To people being, you know, having their stomachs slit open and in their guts ripped up. To heads being ripped off or heads being cut off. To someone getting punched through the mouth. And the and they can't get their hand out of the, you know, the, the head. So they have to rip off the head and throw it. The creativity is so good, so disgusting, and I love it. The gore in this movie is fantastic. Um, the, the soundtrack is great. We don't just have, you know, the Tales from the Crypt music. We also have the use of uh, Filters, Hey Man, Nice Shot. Whenever I hear that song, I think of this movie. Because Dad is playing during this epic chase-down scene. Uh, the Collector is chasing Breaker. They're in these two cars desolate highway you know no one's there and um it's 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 it edited perfectly like you see uh breaker being chased you don't know who's chasing him and then suddenly when it cuts to you know hey man you know you know that part of the of the song cuts right to billy zane so it's edited perfectly and you have a scene you have a part where he or breaker gets out of the car he tries to you know he finds a way to blow up the um the collector's car and this is the very beginning so obviously the collector survives and like it's all it's all quiet and then suddenly breaker is walking away and then they cut the song again i wish i would have met you you know perfectly done um there are some effects that are kind of cheesy you find out um the, again with breaker's backstory which is i will let you um fit, find that out for yourself but he has these tattoos on his hands of stars and apparently when the stars align in like a big circle, that's how Breaker knows when the Collector will show up. And you have some close-up on the hand. And you have a really cool digital effect of the stars. I'm not going to do it since I'm holding my phone. Moving around in placement on his hands. That looks cool, but you can tell the hand is fake. Because you know how the, the animatronics or whatever, they just do like the slow finger moves. And it looks off. But who fucking cares? Because again... Demon Knight is fucking fantastic. Um, God, what else? Can you... I again, the co there's some there's some comedy in this. Like I love the the way the collector tries to seduce you to giving you the key. And when I say seduce, it's not always sexual. Like he tries to seduce Cordelia, the prostitute, by being you know you know you're you're you're, you're a beautiful woman. No one respects you, Cordelia. Blah blah blah. But he also seduces Uncle Willie with, you know, alcohol and titties, you know, naked women everywhere. Pre-cocaine using Ch Chasey Lane. That's great. I think Tracy Bingham is also one of the topless girls in the back. But and That's a funny scene where Billy Zane is the playing the bartender and Dick Miller, you know, the ladies love Dick. You know, all topless behind him. And he was like, hey, here we go, Uncle Willie. Nothing gets you fucked up better. Or I mentioned Irene is the one who... Uh, who loses her hand, he offers her hand on a silver platter, like literally, and she lifts up her, her stump, and he's like, is that a yes? No, that's me giving you the finger, asshole. Great moments, and again, Irene, so good. Let's just say, spoilers, she doesn't survive the night, but her and Deputy Bob, um, when they go out, they pay tribute to Gorman and Vasquez in Aliens. I'll leave it at that. It's fantastic. And her final line in this movie, wonderful. Um, and there's some great special effects in this that are really, you know, are really cool because inside the, the key is the blood of Jesus Christ. Like I said, it's an interesting backstory and you can pour the blood around like windows and doors and it creates this like invisible force field. So that is a really cool digital effect when you see like the blood make it circle or square or whatever. And then you hear like, you see this, this indentation or, or exp, exp you see the, I guess you would see the, see the air expand, you know, and then come back. And then if a demon walks through it, it gets fried. And that's another cool, gory uh, use of gore. I don't know. Um, I'm gushing over this movie because I love it so much. Even if you're not a fan of Tales from the Crypt, because sometimes you think it's too cheesy. 
Um, watch this anyway, because if you can get get through the the wraparound part in the beginning and the end with the Crypt Keeper, it's still a fun, great monster movie. I'm, I'm one of those movies where you have people trapped in one building trying to get away from monsters, uh, kind of like Cabin in the Woods or Fuck It to a lesser extent. I liked it. Leprechaun Origin. Deal with it. Great movie. Wonderful characters. Every single performance in this movie is perfect in the way they're supposed to be. Even the asshole, uh, Roach, Thomas Hayden Church, he is a likable asshole. I'm like, I'm not going to read it. The whole cast is great. The gore is great. The demons look awesome. Um, it's just so much fun. The score is great because it's intense when it needs to be intense. The soundtrack with the songs is used perfectly. Excuse me. Damn. Perfect for Halloween time viewing. Perfect for late night viewing. Perfect for whenever you want to see a really cool horror movie. Highly recommend Demon Knight. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. All that stuff. Tell me if you've seen it in the comments below. Tell me if you hate it. Tell me if you don't want to see it. I don't know what else to say. Again, like I said, it's late. I'm falling behind with these videos. But I got it out tonight. Tomorrow, the final video for Shocktober. It's Halloween. Talking Halloween kills. Cheers.